Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another video. Today's video is another recap of the series My Killer Body with K Michelle, episode five, riding from the inside out. So guys, we start off with oh, make sure you like, hit that subscribe button, and notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload. So we starting off with Devion. He um he was uh was four hundred pounds. Um, he started changing up his diet, eating right, and he lost weight and going to the gym. So with that entails, he had excess skin. So he started looking around for, um, let's say, um, plastic surgery so they could help remove his excess skin. He ends up finding, finding one. Um, he ends up getting a male, um, breast reduction, a lipo, which basically all of this stomach breast area he got that all done and he got like a big scar across his from basically from hip to hip basically scar from his tummy tuck liposuction they sucked out four liters which is not possible to do because he actually had like four procedures in one which is not not up to par to doing at all okay for the procedure he got done anything involving lipo they said he had to do one liter so he, the fact that he had four that's a red flag right there and then with his um his breast reduction they had to take some stuff out and he was left with two scars underneath his his breast and he ended up developing a fluid sac in his right breast and he got a um son was a sarc no not sarcoma that's another one S wait sarnoma which is basically a fluid sac of fluid sitting in his chest it's okay to have a little bit but the fact that he had so much building up that it left like redness um big bulge do not mind my ask your hands you know washing dishes but uh left like a red sac um raised and it was just oozing and stuff like that so that didn't heal that didn't go well so eventually he had to keep going back down to i think florida miami and to keep getting it drained because that's where the surgeon was at to do the process so that was that wasn't good at all so he ends up going to he ends up telling his story to k michelle and she's like that's very understandable because come to find out that's actually what happened to her during her first um breast implants because they bur end up bursting. So the first one, she ended up having like getting that drain and stuff like that. Then she got left with two scars underneath her breast as well. Okay. See my to back. But you know, you know. So he ends up um after telling Kami still his story, he ends up re meeting with Dr. Rubenstein. And he's like, and Dr. Rubenstein explains to him, like, the procedure you had done was not done correctly. The fact that you have two visible scars and the fact that you still have a hump of a breast, it's not a good, good, good look. So he was explaining to him the breakdown of the procedure and telling him that, you know, what he got done was, was not cool. So he was able to, you know, like I said, break it down. Um, his, um, best friend was the one that helped take care of him in the beginning and then get him back up to number. So he couldn't stay with him during the second procedure. So he, because his friend had to go back to work back in Atlanta. So his mom was supposed to come to help support him during his surgery time. Supposedly there was too much traffic that she ended up missing her flight. But technically, if you knew you had a flight, you would give yourself extra time to leave and get there ahead of time. But those be them type of people you got to watch out for. They be funny. They be all on your side. Then when it comes down to to show, it's always an excuse. Granted, that's his mom. But still, come on now. You say you're going to come show your support and be there for me. But you were stuck in traffic. You would have left like two or three hours ahead of time. I mean... I had to do that for me when I had to go, like, well, not for me, but for my my sister, the, off the topic a little bit. But I had to go to the airport, so I actually left a couple of hours early, and I was just sitting there waiting. So I'd rather be early than be late. 
So make it make sense. But nonetheless, he was able to get through his surgery by himself. Um, after his procedure was done, it looked it so much better. You couldn't even tell that he got he had um scars scars from the previous surgery. Like Dr. Rubenstein is like a OG plastic surgeon. He did his thing. He hooked him up. He looked good. You could see the confidence in his face. You can see he's more confident about how he looks and stuff like that. He probably happy he didn't get to wear his um compression garment either because he was wearing that in the beginning to help alleviate the fluid buildup in his chest. He did a good job. He did a good job. So, moving on to Akeisha. She actually got silicone butt injections. Like... If I could put a picture in to show y'all for be both people, I will put them in and let y'all see. It's graphic, but mind y'all, this is like the cons of getting plastic surgery. Somebody that's not board certified, you're going to be left with these complica complications. And then you're going to be left with the consequences of your actions. Like, it's sad to say, but you know, these things happen on a daily. But nonetheless... Akeisha, she got butt injections, and her whole backside looks like somebody just been grinding holes in her butt. Like, it looked horrible to the fact that it's hard and black. So, basically, she starts off with doing, like, an Epsom salt bleach bath or whatever to keep her wounds healed and clean. And then she makes sure she bandages them up with some cream and stuff. It's basically hard for her to sit on her butt, but she got to make the best of it. I mean, because that's her butt. So she ends up showing her best friend how her butt looks. And she explains to her, like, this and this and this. She saw that the bend just one side was bigger than the other because that's where most of the wound started opening up from, from the procedure. Because that was her way of her body rejecting the silicone. Basically, it wasn't good silicone. And basically, her body is rotting from the inside out. She had um, arsenic and it's a C-word poisoning in her system that's going into her bloodstream. So basically, it's really killing her from the inside out. So she shows it to her, her best friend. Her best friend is kind of like... Kind of taking it back because it's like you let this happen to yourself. But it's like it's sad because it's like you don't want nothing bad to happen to your friend or whatever. But eventually she goes to get a consultation from Dr. Yaliv. Yaliv, yes. Finally got his name right, Yaliv. And he breaks down the procedures and the process for her. She can either get option one, which was like take all of her butt down to where the muck, the uh, the muscle is to remove all that dead silicone or do the next procedure, which gra gradually removes little, little, a little bit at a time. So that way her butt can heal through the process and they can get back to normal. So she chose to do option two, which basically takes it out little by little. So, you know, she get a little bit of good healing tissue. Um, she tells me, okay, Michelle, her story and okay, Michelle was like, listen, I totally understand I had to get mine done. She had, Kamisha had a total of 16 surgeries. So she definitely is well aware of what's going on and what can go wrong. Um, She eventually tells her mom and her son, like, you know, you can tell that she really wanted to get that off her chest. Her, her, her son wasn't um mad about her choices. And, you know, he's glad that she's getting the help that she needs. Her mom was also happy too. Her mother and her best friend came to support her during her surgery time, which is also happened to be her her birthday. So it was like a rebirth of of a good birthday gift to get her body back in order and get herself back healthy, which is a must. So she got her procedure done the first part, and she was quite happy of how it looked. Her color started coming back in her butt. She had a little bit of, of drainage, which is great because that shows that her body is starting to heal properly and, you know, take and getting back that healthy tissue. So, yes, if y'all ever think about plastic surgery 
Go to somebody who's board certified. Do board certified. Do your research. Check out reviews to see if it's up to standards and see like if they're not going to give you the runaround. Like do your research because you never know. Plastic surgery is good, but you but do you want to suffer the consequences of it going wrong? And then you still gotta you know come out more money to rectify the situation. So. Sometimes it ain't always what it cracked up to be. Do your research. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this recap. Please, you go catch it on Lifetime and also at the Life, on the Lifetime app, okay? Every Thursday at 9 o'clock. My Killer Body with K. Michelle. So give it a like. Comment down below. Have y'all seen the show? Do y'all plan on watching the show? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you can know for every time I upload. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.